So, how y'all doing, gentlemen? This is weird. <laughs> okay, so I am so excited for the whole cast and crew to be here. We are missing just one person, which has been, I believe he's on a road. He's coming back to Atlanta to do another project. But um, other than that, I just want to get started with the Q&A. So before I get started with any of the questions and, you know, the comments, I just want to, I just want to let everybody know that everybody did a fantastic job on the film. Like everybody did. Um, from, from Dre to E to Victor, holding them cameras up, we finna fall. Outside, trying to get them uh, shot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <about> that. <laughs> they said, Vic said, can you hold me? I said, yeah, I got you. <laughs> I feel like, like the so, team. Yeah, yeah, we, we took some risky shots, but um, at the end of the day, we did it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it looked absolutely phenomenal. The one that I posted on YouTube was the uh, the second cut with the um, the second cut yeah, so the first one that y'all seen was the first cut uh, when I posted it with the uh, actors. But this one that I posted on YouTube for the audience to see was the second cut with more music. Um, it really didn't matter to me with the music because either way it goes, it still look good and it was off the chain. So I know it was funny. So I got so much good feedback. Everybody talks about KD's performance and how he killed it. Yes. Uh. <laughs> yes, everybody, everybody loved KD. Um, they always like, man, who, who, who is KD? Like, what, what, you know, I'm like, man, KD's off the chain. <laughs> oh, so, man. yeah, I, I just want to say, man, off the chain. yes, man. And so the first thing I was going to say is everybody keep asking me the same question. Can I be in the next one? Can I be in the next one? Can I be in the next one? You surely can. We'll be having casting calls. <laughs> so that, that's, that's what's going to happen next. Next will be casting calls. Um, which I am excited about casting calls as well, because uh, that means that it's growing. The production is growing and more yeah. people want to be exposed. So uh, I am, I'm, I'm down for that. I want to network as much as I can with other people and, you know, just go from there. Uh, so Victor brung up something to me yesterday. He said, you know, actually I wanted to be diverse as possible. I'm all with diversity. Mm -hmm. I want anybody who can be in anybody, you know what I'm saying? Anybody. So, um, you know, the next one, the next project we're going to do is going to be off the chain. So right now we're going to yeah. do some Q and A and, um, you know, a lot of people are like, I want to see, I want to see, um, behind the scenes. I'm like, man, behind the scenes is crazy. Cause you know, Ethan, Ethan's just <laughs> come up here and tell me that y'all gonna quit in front of my boss. You know, motherfucker, you got some. I, 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 I. Stop with that circus shit, nigga. <laughs> Put that shit down. Fuck. <laughs> How you guys doing? <laughs> oh yeah, well actually, um, I was the director of photography. Whoop, whoop. And handling a little bit of lighting there. Um, yes. We were a little short. But I kind of like came in at the last moment because I was, I met, Jay for um, a coffee and he told me that you guys were going to be shooting this. Yes. And I wasn't in the project. I just went to um, to be curious and um, and actually Benjamin, he was the um, yeah the real director and director of photography. He was doing everything and I just kind of was helping out. And then he had to travel for an emergency, I guess. I'm not sure. And, yeah. Um, and, we, and we didn't finish up shooting that day. So Jalen called me up. He's like, dude, do you think you can help us out Yes. So of course, I, um, I stepped in, and um, we had to reshoot a couple of shots because we do, we were using a different camera. Mm -hmm. so it's probably gonna be too much of a difference. Yep. So um, so we kind of rushed it a little bit, but I think we had a it pretty good result good. at the end. It looked good, and it was just go. Cool. It's so crazy how it just everything kind of flowed the way you know the way everything flowed. Because I was panicking because you know Benjamin, you know mm -hmm. Benjamin's not not here. You know he's the assistant director and co-writer, but Benjamin, he was just like. Yeah, man, I'm gonna leave. I gotta do this. You know, I was like, what am I going to do? You know, that was the first thing that I said. What am I going to do? I had to sit down, I had to think. I said, Lord, please let this come through. And I said, uh, you know what? I'm gonna have to ask Victor. He's the only person that was there. He's the only person that, you know, knows how to work the camera. And, and the I good called thing him. Is, the and good Victor thing said, is, I mean Ben, ben is, is he, I think he's really good. He has a really good eye. Yes. And he's like really patient. And, I, and because I was there 
observer when you guys were doing the um, right. the first day, I had a feeling and I kind of like saw what his vision was for the for the film. So right. Right. although he wasn't there for the second part, I of course we all have our different styles, but I really tried to um, keep his style. Yeah, his style, in the in there, right? And that's what he yeah. was doing. This was his project. So. Um, and, um, and that's why I, I, he, he called me up a couple of days ago. We were talking, and he told me that he really liked this. I'm happy because <laughs> yes. I was probably a little afraid that he was going to say, hey, you messed my my project up," <laughs> which I wasn't know. the case. I'm I'm happy that was it was good. Okay. I, I'm different. Uh, also, really great. I mean, what made it really easy also um, because I mean it was a small small staff, and we were rushing it. But um, you guys were really prepared. Like the actors, all of them, man. They they knew what they were doing. They they killed it. Yes, and um, I think this is the first time I shoot something, um, this genre, I guess, or this type of <laughs> short film. <And> yes, <laughs> I got kind of freaked out when they pulled out the fake guns on me a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's going on? There? I know, right? You was like, oh, oh. What the, hell's Damn. In <laughs> the fake that lid. Damn. <laughs> but it was all good. Yeah, you guys did all a good job, man. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Well, anyone else? Uh, Dre, Ethan, or you don't matter. Yeah, so I played drug dealer number two. Um, Terrence. Yeah, so that's my first Terrence. role in a very long time. I appreciate Jay, you know, writing this role for me and everything because it kind of fit my personality and I could, you know, add what I wanted to in there without being, you know, too uncomfortable to place it. So, yeah, I appreciate that. Okay. Dre? Shit, I play got you know, drug dealer number one. <laughs> Turn on the answer. <laughs> Hey, he's stupid. <laughs> that was my own. That was like my first time acting for real. It wasn't even. I ain't really think of it as acting. I was just uh playing yourself. Yeah, for sure. Yes, and you <laughs> and you did a phenomenal job playing yourself. Appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, K. Say the best for last, then, man. Oh, thank you, Jalen. Jalen. <laughs> um. First. You um, just to, just kind of like a quick background on kind of the beginning of this. Jalen, I met some time ago and he was just um, showing me we were we he found out that I was in a play at Pension Outs Theater. And he was like, oh, you're an actor. I'm like, yeah. He said, well, I'm 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 an actor, too. I'm like, OK, what have you done? He's he's not only an actor, he's a dancer. He's a choreographer. He's a writer. He's and I was like, he was showing me these like one minute clips he had on Instagram. I'm like, so who was helping you with that? He said, Man, I, I, I did it. I said, you did what? He said, you did these shots? He was like, yes, how did you do that? He was like, I did this with my phone. I said that over there. Um, he put the music in. By the way, people were commenting on the music in um, the deal. They liked it because it, it, it added tension. Yes. Um, and so I was like, man, you did it by yourself. Yep. What could you do like if you had like folks? He was like, let's find out. And next thing I know, we have folks. Yeah. And we we were doing this. We we, yeah. we were meeting and trying to buy props and stuff yeah. like that. And we were yes. meeting. And next thing you know, um, the deal happened. It happened and it happened. Yes. Um happened. yes. Yeah, everybody um and he wrote this with people in mind. I looked at the script and when I finally met um drug dealer one and two, I knew who they were just by reading the lines. I said, you're number one, you're number two. And I was like, yeah. yeah. So, so kudos to Jalen for, well, for um, not only uh, being creative, but being driven. Mm. And, and, and um, then um, I met Riles or Benjamin. Mm -hmm. I, I really like the name Riles, but Benjamin. And, um, and watch him do his thing, and and, and as an old head, is is like, like great to watch. Yes. New and upcoming talent. Um, Victor also came in on our first day of shoot, and I was like, this dude right here knows what the he's doing, and and I appreciate working with you. I love your eye. I love just just yeah. how you just came in. You were like, yeah, well. Let's do it. Yeah. And I could see your passion because because your thing was like, okay, well, we did this and let's look at it. Let's we don't care what time it is. Let's let's do this thing. And I'm like, okay, I'm with that. Um I'm I'm excited 
for for this company of of filmmakers and actors and and creatives because everybody starts somewhere you know and and see us going on you you get familiar with people you you know their their working style and i talk a lot you know their working style and 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 they know you so they can bring the best out of you you can bring the best out of each other i'm excited is yes is everything and kd and playing kd i'm always playing fathers and fathers that are preachers fathers that so this time i'm like playing a gangster and people are looking at this going Really, Pacino? I'm like, man, I'm playing a gangster, right? I'm not somebody's daddy that's yes. going through like, I can't love you. You got to act right. Not that I don't appreciate those. I appreciate and love every character I've ever played. But this put me in another lane. And and I enjoy that, you know? So, yeah. So, and I'm Keith Douglas. Right. <laughs> you say what you say? What you say? Yeah. to tell me? <laughs> yeah, that that's what I thought you came here to tell me. When we were shooting, well, the, the first thing when I wasn't shooting yet, it was I was just seeing what you guys were doing. I was just observing and helping out a little bit. Yeah. And I'm like, so I didn't know anyone. I haven't worked with anybody, and I'm like, okay, so let's see what's gonna happen. I wonder if these guys are good or not. <laughs> as soon as Katie did his first. <laughs> Stand up, motherfuckers! <laughs> that was good. These guys are great, man. Right? Oh, okay. Laugh and see yeah. this. Yeah. Shut yeah. up. Keep on laughing. And that's another thing that I I really like about what we did is our work our work ethic. We put in work, y'all. We we yeah. literally was filming to three o'clock in the morning. Yes. My mama texted me to my son, where you at? I said, we still filming. I'm on the way. <laughs> <laughs> it, I know. It's, it's just the work ethic, man. Like we we didn't give up, you know. Tiandra, he were, you know, he was ready to go. I was like, I was like, when we when we got done the last day, I I, I forgot to say that's a wrap. But <laughs> you know, I nah. Yeah, I did. I forgot to say it was a wrap. You know, just trying to, you know, look. I was so excited because Victor was showing us stuff from the uh, computer. Yeah. Was like, oh, this looks so good. So we done. Yes. And then Dre was like, hey, man, you need any help putting up equipment? I was like, you over here. All right, bet. See you later. <laughs> he just, he, like did, to he had to go. But, it, you know, it's just the work, it, the work ethic that we had, man. And that's that's what I'm just proud of because we put a lot in the script. You know, not to say that we didn't have a budget. You know what I'm saying? And then you know to just make this come out like you, like you said, Kay. Like we were buying props every time I got yeah. We was like buy like you you buy this, I'll buy that. You buy this. And every time we got paid, every time I got paid, my, my half my check was going to props and you know so we can pull this on. So man, I was I was just excited. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Yeah, Victor walked in with cases. <laughs> right. Victor, walk Victor in. walked in with cases. He was like, I'm just I'm just gonna stop by the I'm just gonna stop by and look. I'm like, he he looking, but he brought two cases <laughs> with him. <laughs> just in case. Yes, yes. I I I can't wait to see just what what you do. From your complete point of view, yeah, big as mm -hmm. as as the yeah. DP, yeah, and just what what you're gonna yeah. like from beginning to end. I'm excited as yes, me too, man. Everything. Yes, bro. Yeah. Yes, because Vic did his name. Yeah, I told him he did. X is, um, what was challenging about bringing the script to life? So when it when it came to the ending, you want me like you specifics? Yes, go ahead. Okay, so <laughs> when when it came to the ending. With KD, we didn't. We weren't sure how to do the whole thing with KD. Should we have a shootout? Yeah. Should Trey die? Should I die? Should we both? How are we gonna do it? Mm -hmm. And so Riles, he came up with an idea. He said, "Let's make him be." What What did he say first about him being a cop? He said, "He said let Let's make him a. He, it wasn't with the cop, but like 
something dealing with it. I forgot what it was specifically, but it was something dealing with the cops. And me and you looked yeah, at each other and so we were like, nah. <laughs> nah, we, we weren't feeling that. And then you said, okay, we'll let him, how about he secretly be the chief of police? Yes. And that's what he's using to, you know, to enforce us to want to stay. And we were like, yo. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Let's, let's do it. And then you just, said I was the, you just happen to have the detective badge right there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, here's a prop right here. <laughs> yeah, so that, was, yeah props. that was pretty cool. So when we yeah. heard that idea, we knew it was a golden one. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we wanted to take that right there. That fit perfectly mm-hmm. because that was that was the actually the challenging thing about the whole deal was the ending. Like I'm like, oh, you know, I kind of suck at endings. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, I'll be right. Oh man, it's good. Then it get to the end. I'm like, eh, I don't know. But mm-hmm. that ending uh, with the whole shootout, I'm picturing it like, oh man, you know, oh, we're gonna do this. You know, we got, we got the softwares. And all of a sudden we get to it, I'm like, I said, hey, yeah, bitch, you, you know how to do CGI. You know how to, you know, put in the muzzle flashes. Benjamin said, I have no idea how to do that. I said, so mm-hmm. that's when we had to sit and, you know, he was like, well, what if he is the cop? Mm-hmm. And we was like, <laughs> mm-hmm. and then from there, we were like, so let's do it. Benjamin, yeah, wrote I, I like that. that. Benjamin wrote that overnight. He had that script done yeah. overnight. He did that overnight. Yeah. Said, "How do you think?" And I talked to Katie about. It. I said, "Kay, I said your 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 character is a little bit more grittier than what it is now." He said, "Well, what is it?" I said, "You're actually a cop." You're a cop. <laughs> he said, "Oh, I see. I need." I it. love. It. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. That. <laughs> that right there sold it. He said, "That's it." He said, "That's all I need." KD came to the last rehearsal and showed out. He showed out. Uh, we did that rehearsal. I was like, I was, I was, I was like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been rehearsing. I'm like, and I kept having to miss him because you know why. Yeah, I know. But, why. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. And I was like, man, I said, I'm, I'm gonna be uh, not ready. So I was like, can we have a rehearsal? Right. Because I, I want to. Yeah, and everybody was like, yeah, and I was really grateful. Again, there you go, work ethic, because, right. you know, it's all heart, yes. all, like, yes. involvement. Yes, passion, man, and, and um, dedication. Yeah, and 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 your ability to inspire people, Jalen. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, really, because people no, that, yeah, this, got me to do it. you know, you can say I want to make yeah, a movie, yeah, but it's difficult to get people to follow you into that project. Yes. You know, yeah. yeah. Yes, I got so think about that. I got Victor to do it. <laughs> I, Victor, right? <laughs> Victor was supposed to come in to just look. Vic said, yeah. huh, these these young folk might be on to something. <laughs> yeah. And I'm glad. Yeah. Anybody can everybody can answer this question. Um, I know everybody has different you know opinions on this one. But how is every how is this production just by itself the company? Um, you know, the Rolling Jays and Cameo Productions. How is this company bringing something new to this story? There, there, every story that there is has already been told. Mm. Um, but, but what this is, is the point of view is being told from and the passion behind it. Mm. So, so that's what's new. Yeah, um, uh, uh, yeah that's what's new because yeah. every story has been told. This, this yeah. is. This Everything. is there's been a drug dealer story. There's been a, a twist of turn, but but when people watch it from the perspective of the writer, yes. uh, the director, the the director of photography, it makes it new. It makes it fresh yes. because you it's being told from from a fresh perspective. Mm. So so that's that that's why people are watching it because they're like, oh, I've seen this before because they have it. Yes. Yes, that's deep. That's deep. Yeah. <laughs> that's deep. And also, we're almost <laughs> close to 400 views, and it's only been posted for like a like a week and a week or so. So it's it's moving. Yeah. People people are sharing it. Yeah. People are looking at it. So I I feel like this is a great start for us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I do too. A lot of people think that it's all about the subscribers. It's all about the subscribers, but to me, it's it's about the views because the views are what. Is spreading this, you know, to get the subscribers. It's it's what the people that's watching, mm-hmm. and you know, people are like, man, you need more subscribers, you need more fans. I'm like, man, as long as people are, is are watching it and taking the time out, 
I that's all I need. I just need the views, man. And I can build the subscribers up from there. Yeah. So I feel like, yeah, uh, like I'm telling I, people when I tell them about that subscribe. Yes. Because we got yeah. more stuff coming. Yeah, it's it's going to be some, ooh, it's going to be, it's going to be on and popping. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be on and popping. <laughs> Katie walked in and said. <laughs> Stand up, yeah. Stand up, <laughs> and, and you know what? That wasn't even in the script. KD put that in. That was improv. That you know where that came from? Rehearsal. Yep, it came from rehearsal. He was like, you know what? Yeah. KD said, you know what? I think I'm gonna stick to this because I know people was gonna like KD because of that line. The only the only line that KD needed to say is, you know what? We need. Mo niggas like y'all on the street like you on the street. Yeah. Uh, we need mo niggas like you on the streets. Mm -hmm. That was it. That was like that was <laughs> that was the quote of the day. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't need no more niggas like us on the street. <laughs> yeah, that was that was the quote of the day. Um the second the next question is um why did you want to be involved in this production? I think I wanted to be involved because I wanted to do something. I wanted to be a part of something that was new to the film world in the sense of we're all creators coming together, making something, you know, even without a budget. I think a lot of times people, they have a good story, wow, a good yeah. plan, and they want to, you know, they want to rush and, you know, yeah, try to get it Netflix or just hold it till they get famous or whatever. But you can, you can put out, um, you can put out value now. You yes, I mean? really yeah. can. And, and a lot of people don't you can put it out now, even with just a cell phone. Yes, and that's what I—that's what I started with on Instagram throughout quarantine. I started yeah. with the phone. I just mm -hmm. I put my phone on like different, if like on different sidewalks and curves, and just made a story. It's, <laughs> Literally, it's just about being creative. And, you know, a good quote for that is it's called it says, "Work with time instead of against time." work with what you got work with what you got D man things like that will come later you have to work with it don't work against time the, oh man i gotta do this i gotta do this no work with what you have if you have this work with it do not work against time y'all so i definitely i definitely like what uh ethan said anybody else with that one yeah i i got new i wasn't gonna do it until i seen um Jaden start doing it and i always wanted to um See if I can act. I like watching movies and shit like that. Yeah. So when he did it, I didn't even care. I can be trying, you feel me? If I don't yeah. like it, I ain't, ain't got to do it no more, but I can be trying. Yes. Fun. And see, that's the thing about my brother right here, man. Like, we grew up and, you know, we grew up watching movies together. Like, ever since I can remember, like, me and Teandre, probably like five, six, we started watching them Jackie Chan movies together. And uh, yeah. there, you know, I had I had a passion. You know, Jackie Chan, he's so animated. <sighs> You know, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, I got that person. That, yeah. But uh, I, I just, I love. I've always just loved the cinematic universe, and I'm like, man, I just want to do this. Yeah. And man, you know, me and Tiandre always watching these movies, and I, you know, I came to him, I talked to him, I said, Tiandre, I wrote this for you, and I, I really just want this is for you, like this is made for you, this part. I, I really just want you to do it. He said, all right. And he read the script and he just seen how funny it was. And he was like, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. So that right there, that that that's a lot of respect right there by itself. Anybody else? Um, well, in my case, uh, I wasn't gonna be in it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I was gonna, I'm gonna stumble into it. Yeah. But um, I well, you guys know, um, People who's gonna watch this, they don't know, I guess. Uh, I, I just moved to Atlanta from Florida a couple of months ago. So I really don't know many people here. I don't know, I don't have a crew or a cast or anything. So I was, I was looking for people to work with and I was shooting this music video clip. That's when I met Jalen and um, he was, um, how do you say? Yeah, I was a choreographer and dancer and yeah. Yeah, and in that, in that, in that music video. And first of all, he started talking to me in Spanish. I'm like, what? What's going on, man? <laughs> so he actually speaks <laughs> pretty good. Thank and, you. Um, 
And he told me he was in the film industry also. I'm like, whoa, this guy's doing it all? What the hell's wrong with this guy? <laughs> <laughs> this is for the West, okay? So, uh, so you know, that's when I, I'm like, okay, I, I want to get to meet this guy a little more. So we went to grab, we went to grab a coffee. Mm-hmm. And um, that's when he talked to me about the project. And I was just, can I go check it out? I just wanted to meet new people. Yeah. Yes. And, um, you know, I'm a huge believer. I believe in, in, in our God Almighty. And uh, I think Amen. He, puts, Amen. <laughs> he puts things when and where it's supposed yeah. to be. And I think I've, I yep. was there. No mistake at all. It's no coincidence. It's he wanted me to be there. So yep. I was there. And then, um, you know, Ben couldn't make it. So a door opened up so I could help you guys out and yes. work together. It was just kind of like yes. meant it to just, be Everything now. seemed like it was just for a purpose. Everything just worked out the way it's supposed to work out. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I always tell my, my friends and, you know, everybody, you know, in my household, we have this thing called the blessing jar. And at the blessing jar, we read all of our blessings throughout the year, at the end of the year. And uh, that was one of my blessings is completing this movie. That's a blessing. You know, the gift of creativity. Yeah. I, so all I can say, like you say, I believe in all of it, that I give all my glory to God because uh, without him, this wouldn't have been possible at all. So yeah. I, definitely, I definitely, I definitely agree with you on that. Give credit where credit is due. <laughs> yes, I always got to give credit to him. What you, which actors in this production do you think blew the people away? Oh, Everybody. KD. You think KD? Mm-hmm. That would be Ethan Andre. You think that Ethan Andre would be number one and number two? <laughs> yeah, I think Ethan and Dre. Ethan and Dre was funny to me. Hey, they gonna let us leave? All right, money. All right, all right. Well, let's just go, run away. They find us and kill us. And how about that be that? Really, really funny. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I like, wasn't. I wasn't finished. <laughs> you said what? So I wasn't finished. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so um, that would be Ethan and Dre. Mm-hmm. And then um, I had a um, like a special connection with the uh, actor that played uh, Boss Man because he like opened it up and he was just like kicking ass first from the very beginning with that smile. When they go in and he turn around and look around like this and go, weird ass niggas. Come on. Weird ass niggas. That's your, that's, and then the other thing that laughed because I, I was watching you, was the, the laugh when everybody's laughing, and then the yeah. second time, everybody's laughing, and the camera's on you, yeah. going, ah, ah, ah. and then when you go, oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, so it was everybody mm-hmm. had their things, but yeah, I'm that, I'm saying everybody. Yeah, right yeah, it's, 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 it's definitely not it is definitely not a one no actor show. It was an ensemble effort. Yes, it was. was. And yeah, you know why it was a good ensemble know? effort? It was a good ensemble effort because we all had good chemistry. It's all about the chemistry when it comes to yeah. performance. Yeah, yeah. And so everybody, every, everybody was well, like, yeah, everybody was bringing it. That's and it, the Ethan. It, Ethan, he was brilliant. Yeah. Every time it was a different take, <laughs> every time it was a different take, he had something different. He was like, all right, this is take three of Ethan close up. And <laughs> my clap for me, action. Right. Yes. So I, I started asking people to give me a clap. And at the end, everyone was clapping for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The whole room <laughs> clapping. Thank you very much. <laughs> like Jay was a little over the top which made his character great. That's what it was. What you, what Katie was talking about your, your laugh, like so, like exaggerated. Yeah, I was, yeah. That was great because what you said. That's you, him being himself. Yeah, that, that was <laughs> that was literally <laughs> being myself. Yeah. I feel like I played a little bit, you know. And it was it was bit like my the way I wrote my part. It was a kiss ass. Like I had to kiss Katie's okay. ass. So every time he laughed, I had to laugh. Every time he stopped, I stopped. That's why, like you know, people are like, is that a mistake when you stop? When he stopped, I'm like, no, I'm kissing his ass. When he- <laughs> oh, that was great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that right there, that, that's, that <laughs> I think that, 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 that those those seven eight seconds of the laughing stop yeah. and the laughing again. See, even even suggested that. He, that was his idea. He just said, yeah, I mean, he, well, that's, 
That's what bought me. When I saw that, I was like, this is gonna be cool. <laughs> I think that that's no, the I had, and, and you know what's funny too? Dre, Dre did a really good job because he never broke character. Mm -hmm. Dre really only laughed if something was really, really funny. And I remember one time I was smoking, I was smoking a cigarette and I was laughing. And he looked at me and started laughing. Like he was like, ha 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 ha. I was like, <laughs> 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 so that right there, it it broke him. Like he couldn't do it no more. Especially with Ethan. Mm -hmm. Like Ethan and Dre, like, like the the dynamics that they had in their characters. Oh my god. Hey man, all that Denzel Washington, that fake one of all shit. That shit not gonna work. That ain't gonna. That ain't gonna. <laughs> <laughs> but what inspired you to write the deal? I mean, I never thought I would ever write something so typical with being, you know, black, and we always have to be fit in this, you know, category as oh, they're black, they gotta do drug dealing and all. And I was just like, eh, like I feel like it would be so typical, and it was kind of hard. And you know, I prayed about it. I prayed about it, and I said, you know what? If I feel like this will connect to the audience and people love it, I said. But let's not have it as a you know as a typical drug movie. Let's have it as they want to get out the game. Like they're they're tired of this. They don't want to do this anymore. And um, I said I feel like it'll be funny if they want to get out the game. But they have these crazy people that <laughs> you know you don't know what to expect from them. Like you're like, huh? <laughs> like what? I don't. I'm scared to say I want to get out, especially when you threw coke in my face. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? That right there is funny. The whole, you know, a lot of people didn't get the whole when they kept throwing the coke back to each other, but they really didn't want to get the coke, so they're just throwing it back to each other. Is this what I think it is? Oh yeah. Por peruano la coca. I thought it would be really funny for um my audience to see it, but for a lot of people to share it um and to watch it that really got to me as well so yeah that that was kind of you know inspired me to write it just something funny you know my genre has always been comedy comedy action thriller psychological thriller stuff like that so right i love, I love comedy and action together that's just so funny to me comedy and action yeah that because because i was wondering you came up with that i don't that we're, we're doing a q a basically about the deal but i know you have some other projects written, but I just wanted to know what what inspired you to to write the deal. Yeah. So yeah. that's why I was asking. Yeah. No, no, that's, that's it. Yeah, that was it. That was it. That you know, just coming to my room and just being creative, because I'm still writing. Like, oh my god, y'all, y'all don't even know half of it. Oof, it's so much I got. Uh, it's just you know stuff that's on sticky notes. Come on, Tyler Perry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm writing. I'm getting. I'm gonna get to the people, and um, and I feel like um, I have a really good writing team. You know, I still, I got Victor, I got you, I got Ethan. So it's just not just me writing just by myself, and it's just not me doing this by myself. Like I have people to help me with different ideas, and you know, I'm all about giving people their credit. If you help me out with this, I'm gonna give you this. So, um, you know, it's not all about me. It's about my creative team in the back of me as well. You know, I love to give people their credit, man. So that's why I just keep saying thank you, thank you, thank you for everybody, um, you know, who helped me throughout this with the cast and crew. And that was the, the other thing that I was gonna ask you is, without giving anything away, what is your favorite line of any dialogue? Mm. Uh, I can tell you I'm, I'm not going I'm gonna tell you which one is mine. <laughs> <laughs> I, this, this is my favorite. This is one of my favorites. Um, you wish it was a grenade. <laughs> what, um, <laughs> you wish it was a grenade. While um, fuckers. You twelve? That right there. <laughs> people was not. When I say people were not expecting that right there. That right there's a bro. That right there was hilarious. Um, because leading up to it, Dre had he had said uh he had said something. He was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, you know you didn't get with me. none of this shit, right? He was like, yeah, who 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 will stop us? Denzel and uh and uh Denzel. 
Yeah, <laughs> and jail. You got your you got your man with a grenade in his pocket. He just said, I don't want to die. He said, <laughs> Dre said, Dre said, I don't give a fuck about the little grenade. Yo, you don't want to die. What the fuck do I give a fuck about the grenade? Turning Katie inside, you wish it was. You had to get that shit out. Voila, motherfucker. <laughs> I love to curry. I think that was KD's favorite part of, of of his of his character was pulling out that badge and be like, "I own you." I own you. It was it was such a fun character it to play because yeah. he's just doing that. Yeah, voila, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's what uh, that's what my auntie said. She said, "Hey, they don't kill my nephew." <laughs> Wait a minute, they didn't kill my nephew, but they killed my other nephew. <laughs> Is she dead? Yeah, she said that, right? That joke was hilarious, man. Oh my God. I'm trying to think another one. Nah. COVID. COVID. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> COVID. Oh, yeah. COVID. That's what that's yeah, that's, that's I'm COVID. Yeah, that right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Come in, COVID. <laughs> uh, I think my favorite was at the end when I was uh when I was leaving the hallway and I was like, Pinky, Skinny Mike. By the way, we ain't got nobody else to see. Skinny Mike, that's my cousin. Pinky, DJ, where's them boys? My damn self. It's just a lot of. It's a lot of. It was just a lot of very funny moments in there, man. Yeah. Oh, you, no, let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you what made something awkward that I always point out, I pointed out to my mom, because I was like, you need to look at everybody's face the way I say this. I said, y'all folks ready to take this big job? And Ethan looked ah. at and, and Dre, <laughs> even, even Dre, even KD laughed, but no one doesn't see it, He's, it's a smirk. But Dre, he <laughs> not Dre from laughing, he had to look straight. Y'all boys ready to be made real men? Take this job. This big job. Big job? Yeah. This big job. I'll be right back. <laughs> I was like, because Ethan said, big job. Mm -hmm. You can see it's Dre's Ethan's face like, right there. Yes, bro. You, can, uh -huh. you, can, you literally see <laughs> Dre's face like, I was like, bro. I seen Ethan. Hey, I seen Ethan say that shit one time, bro. And I, every time he said it, bro, I, I ain't have to see him no more, bro. I can just picture his face, bro. That <laughs> <laughs> man, Dre was dying. He said, every, every time he said, big job. I said, what? He said, big job. Right. You make it so gay. <laughs> <laughs> We could have got through that scene. We were cracking up so much. Bro, we did that scene. That was like the only scene that we killed. Uh, so easy. It's like, ready for this big job? Big job? Yeah, big job. That's it. But it took us like, I don't know. <laughs> it took, uh, how many takes did we do? We did like five takes because of that. We could not stop. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that whole scene don't even sound good. It just sound like a bad porn movie. That's what it sound like. <laughs> hey, that, that part, it was just, that would have been yeah. some good BTS. Yeah. Now, that, that right there was funny. That whole thing right there was just funny. What is the biggest challenge about taking the role? Anybody, for y'all characters? Any, y'all, did anybody have any challenges? Nah. Something I don't think yeah, anybody I think the knows. Thing was... Ethan. Oh, you want to go ahead, KD, or you want me to go? No, ahead? I want you to go. All right. <laughs> the big, my biggest thing for me was um, <laughs> listening to the directors and trying to get exactly what they wanted out of the character. And so I think that had its own challenges met because, you know, different people have different perspectives on exactly what they want to see. So just putting all that together and, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I know, like, Ben, he was asking me after every take, Ben would be like, cut. And I know when Ben say cut in a different way, in a different tone, I'm like. You already know. Somebody's not acting. Somebody's, somebody's not, they're not giving what he wants. So when he said cut, I said, I said, uh-oh. Yeah, you can tell every Yeah, time. I said, uh-oh. I said, somebody ain't giving him what he want. He went, he went over to Ethan. He whispered to Ethan and said, hey, uh, you're doing a really good job. <laughs> but um, I just, that I just. That like a movie. <laughs> he really, I just said, I, I need you to be really, I just need you to be really sad. 
Ethan mm-hmm. was like, Ethan was like, all right. I can't eat that. I said, Ethan, I know you can't get sad. I said, that's not you. <laughs> I said, I, said I, I, I try to explain it to him as much as possible. I said, it's not about being sad. It's about being awkward. Be awkward. Like you, you're awkward. So be awkward. He was like, okay, I can do that. And I say, <laughs> once he got that communi- you know, that communication part, then it was better on Ethan's role, you know, to bring it <laughs> out even better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dre, sure, he, he had no challenges. Dre stayed himself. Like mm-hmm. Dre, Dre will be looking at the camera like, we good? I was like, yeah. <laughs> Ethan, Ethan would do something stupid and then Dre will be like, oh. <laughs> well, other than that, he really didn't, he really didn't make a character. Hey, bro. It, it was like they got a kid. Yeah, like they got a kid with uh, somebody really doing something stupid, and I get mad yeah. for real. Yeah, so you, you really didn't break character. No, you really didn't break character. For me, I was like, because sometimes I would miss my lines looking at y'all just being the director. Like y'all be like, y'all be like, so um, we didn't come to talk to you about, um, you know, we're trying to talk to you about getting out the game, and I'll be looking at you like, man, that was the delivery. And then y'all be looking at me like, uh. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so trying to act and direct at the same time, but that was a little challenge for me because I'm looking at y'all performances and then I'm like in a shock and all like, dang, like y'all killing it. And then I'm like, oh, dang, that's me. I'm, that's, I need to do my line. <laughs> and that was uh, what ben, Benjamin was talking about. He was like, man, like you're really patient as a director. Because I know some directors, they just so, you know, I'm like, man, creativity takes a while, man. Like, you can't be, you can't be, all right, we got to do this. You can't rush it. You cannot rush it. And me, I'm all about patience. I am definitely glad that uh, I got majority of the uh, cast and crew here for the deal. I feel like it was a success. I'm ready to enter some short I film festivals. You. I'm ready to enter some short film festivals. And I'm ready to get back to work, baby. I'm ready to yes. get back to work. These uh, yeah. I I got I got I got some stuff for y'all. I got some good stuff for y'all. Um, I want to add more, so um, we're gonna do cast, casting calls to have some more people, so we can have some more good chemistries as well. And um, let's just let's just go from here, man. Let's I'm excited. Is is let's do it. Yes, I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, I'm happy that I that I I was in this the yes. expand. Yes. The territory span of, of people that you know that you meet. All right, I didn't, I'm glad we're, I was happy to work with you guys. It was exciting. Like I said, man, I just want to say thank you. It was my first time directing, uh, producing something like this. Um, you know, to get us cast. A lot of the things that I did in the past, it it put me to where I need to be here today with the leadership skills that I had in the past. So uh, yeah, I'm just thankful, and Absolutely. I'm thankful for y'all. So go ahead and roll. And y'all have a good old night. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you I, 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 no, you, you <laughs> hell. We are rolling up on screen. What's wrong with you? 